Hi, Martin here. In a recent video featuring my uh, solo canoe, I uh, made mention of a portage yoke that I had made myself, a little DIY project. And uh, someone asked me um, how that was made and if I could uh, show specifically what I did and how it works. So this is it. This is my cheap, uh, lightweight, um, easy to make, and very comfortable uh, DIY canoe yoke. Um, so the reason I made this is that that boat, my uh, pack boat, uh, does not have a center thwart and, or a, a, a carrying yoke. Now it's light enough that you can carry it uh, without that, but on a long portage, uh, carrying it over your shoulder or under your arm or arms extended overhead would be really uncomfortable. So um, I decided to fashion a portage yoke so that I could wear a small pack and portage the canoe um, in the traditional manner. Uh, now, uh, you can buy a portage yoke, uh, those beautiful contoured yokes, uh, but they tend to be rather expensive. Uh, and uh, Swift Canoe and Kayak make some very, very nice um, uh, canoe yokes, uh, and they're nicely contoured. They have beautiful wooden ones, but they run for about $150. Um, they make a beautiful one to sort of go with these ultralight boats um, that are incredibly light, made out of a, a carbon material, and uh, they are incredibly light and very, very comfortable. I've tried them. Um, but they're in the neighborhood of $400, and I had spent quite a lot on this boat and quite a lot on the paddle, and I didn't want to spend a lot more on a canoeing yoke that I wouldn't use uh, all that often on, on this boat. Um, but on canoe trips, I definitely want a portaging yoke or a canoe yoke. Um, so I decided I would fashion something myself. Now, I already had one of these pads. These, 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 this foam pad here is made by Level 6. Um, and uh, I, actually, when I bought this, I think it was another company that made them, or perhaps the same company under a different name. Uh, but in any case, uh, you can get these, uh, these pads, this actual foam stuff, uh, quite inexpensively at Mountain Equipment Co-op and other uh, canoeing outlets. Um, and they're made by Level 6. Uh, they work very, very well, but they're made for a contoured yoke. They're made to fit into one of those wooden um, or carbon or some other uh, material um, yoke that has those nice deep dishes for your shoulders. Um, uh, basically, they're made to fit a yoke that has approximately this shape. They're not made to fit on a piece of narrow wood like this. Um, so I don't have the woodworking skills to make a contoured yoke. Uh, so what I did is I took a cheap piece of pine. This is a piece of one inch by half inch pine. Not a very, very strong uh, piece of wood, but the boat is fairly narrow. It doesn't have a, a broad beam, so the span isn't long. So I knew that the, the wood that I would need would not have to have a, a lot of strength and a, a lot of, of flex uh, because it would be covering such a s small span. So I took a, uh, just a small piece of pine um, and I cut it to a little bit longer than the width from gunnel to gunnel. And then I took some of the cuttings and I added a piece right here in the middle, a short piece in the middle, and then a longer piece like this to form a kind of hook around like that. Um, I pre-drilled a hole through it. I glued the three pieces together and drove a wood screw right through the end of it. Uh, and I did the same thing on the other end. And uh, then I painted the whole thing uh, just with an outdoor uh, an exterior paint so that it would be somewhat rot proof because it's you know, portage yokes, they tend to get wet. Um, so that was that. Um, then I uh, attached this to it and it worked very well, uh, but it had a tendency to slide back and forth along this because it wasn't being held in place along a contoured piece of, uh, of wood. Um, so, uh, and it also had a tendency to roll around the wood. So I solved that problem just by removing the Velcro here and attaching my own Velcro here. So there's two pieces of uh, Velcro on, on the board, on the wood, and two pieces of Velcro on the yoke. I just mate them together like this. Now this isn't going to roll around and it can't slide from side to side along there. Then I just 
put it back in the, um, the Velcro that comes with the, um, the pad. And I just put that back in place. And there is a lightweight, very cheap, very quick to make uh, and comfortable portaging yoke um, for certain kinds of canoes. Now, what kinds of canoes? Uh, well, a lightweight canoe, obviously a super heavy canoe, like a, a 60, 70 pound canoe, you're gonna wanna use a stronger piece of wood than pine because the weight of that canoe is gonna bounce on your shoulders and it's gonna cause the wood to flex. And so you'll want some wood that's a little bit um, uh, stronger and resilient and has more, more flex than a cheap piece of pine. But this boat is only 20 pounds, uh, actually 22 pounds. Um, it's a Kevlar Fusion boat. So I didn't have that concern and it hasn't been a problem at all. Um, uh, and uh, so the other uh, attribute that the boat has to have is it has to have a somewhat flexible hull because the way this works is there's no hardware. There's no, there's no clamps in place. There's, there's no metal parts that clamp onto the gunnels or anything like that. Uh, this works by a friction fit by fitting around the gunnels. Let me show you. So this is how it fits on. You just take one of these hooks and put it over the outer lip, the rim of the of one gunnel. The other end goes around the rim of the other gunnel. And you do that by just pulling on a piece of wood and pushing on the hull, flexing it slightly, and it pops into place. And it's held by a friction fit. It won't slide forward or back. Um, it can't come undone by lifting it this way. I can lift the whole boat this way. You can cut this to whatever length you want so that you can fit it anywhere along the hull of your boat, depending on where its balance point is. And it's really, really easy to carry. Um, very, very comfortable. Um, and I just keep one hand up here to hold on to it, but you can carry it in any, any other way or use a line if you like. But it's very, very easy to carry, perfectly comfortable. I've done some, uh, some nice portages with this. And when you walk and it bounces, this wood has just a little bit of flexion, just enough give. And to remove it, you just reverse the process. You hold on to the piece of wood pull the gunnels together a little bit and off it comes and then when you need to when you're done your portage throw it in your boat so the nice thing about another nice thing about this is that uh, it's really light there's no hardware so there's nothing to weigh it down the whole thing floats and it weighs well under a pound okay I hope that helps and happy paddling <laughs>